Welcome back to Remember This Tech. In today's video is going to be a special video. I'm going to be using this all white Dell case. It looks great, right? Unassuming. So, ran into the first conundrum here, if you look. All right, so, this IO shield backplate isn't removable on this stupid case, okay? So, I literally have to Dremel or cut this whole thing out in order to fit a motherboard in here because Dell, in their infinite wisdom, never decided that people are going to reuse these cases. So this is not removable. This is another white Dell case that I have. It's not as pristine looking, but it still has the Windows XP stickers. It was designed for XP. Uh, the, the benefit of this case would be that it around you know it's still cool white Dell case but it is a full ATX system board in here which will give me a little bit more room to put in the better motherboard but we got the same problem the IO backplate is not removable it's like one piece of sheet metal molded and cut out with whatever to this board that's in here you guys want to see something really funny somewhat stupid in a way this b550 prime motherboard you know i wanted to use because you would think oh yeah we can put this in here we can go like this you know we can mount this in here yeah it's gonna probably fit with a bit of tinkering and removing the bottom base right but it won't fit it won't if you're gonna mount this board like this, like normal, like that, this case is ass backwards. You physically can't mount it this way. The front of the case here and the way this mounts, um, yeah, you can technically mount it upside down, I suppose. The, the PCI cards aren't gonna line up. They're not gonna line up for where they put the slots for the cards. You can't really use this case. So I have to cut out the back plate on the small case because that one is technically my only option. Back in the day, they did whatever they want. It was not really any conform to any standards or anything. It just irks me. A white case a little bit more challenging than I thought. A modern case, you'd have just the, you'd just be able to put everything in there. It would be fine. But, and years ago, manufacturers basically had their own tweaks and stuff and they put their own parts to fit the way they wanted, their own branded power supplies or whatever they off-brand. So I had to cut and mold the case so that we could put the micro ITX PX motherboard in there. And thanks for watching. Remember this tech.